Hey YouTube, this is Arm bringing another retro Transformers Beast Wars review to you. This particular um, character goes by the name of Injector. He's part of the Fusor line. Um, the Fusors were two animal types put together. His particular animals were a lionfish and a hornet. So we're going to look at this figure in beast mode, look at some of the features, look at some of the details, do a transformation, and take a look at him in robot mode as well. Um, I like this robot. I remember when I first purchased him, it was from Toys R Us, and it was unexpected. You know, they had just released a Fuser line. Um, I had the money. I saw him, and this was years, years, years ago, back when I was in high school. So it goes to show how I kept these things in good condition. Um, and I was impressed with it, you know, and I still am. Uh, if you can see, most of his Hornets um, components are in the back part. You know, the actual, um, the abdomen, uh, the stinger, the insect wings. Um, you know, he has some really good articulation in the ball joints right here um, with the, the insect legs. You know, they go up, down, back, not so much forward. The hind legs serve as uh, the robot legs as well, but there's some really good ball joint rotation there. Uh, some flexibility in the knee. The, you know the, the toes kind of open up uh, the wings you know you get some um, some shifting right there you know the joint goes forward and backwards and then some flapping action and then the overall back part you know goes up and down up and down you know you have to you have to really find these parts of articulation though they don't stand out He's, he's kind of like a stiff character in um, beast mode. You set him down, he lays pretty much flat on the stomach, which makes it a stable character, makes it a stable um, uh, beast mode transformation. You know, there's it's not very wobbly, you know, flat and stable. They did a really good paint job um, with this blue pearlisk paint on his abdomen. There's no bleeding, there's no smudging. You know, it retains its glossiness. I like the wings. You know, as I said with older videos, I like the bug bots. I like the bug Predacons and the, the bug um, Maximals. They use sort of a, a glittery reddish plastic for the translucent pieces in this character. It's an interesting choice of material. You can also see that they have quite good detail in the veinage on the insect wing. Uh, as you get to his head, you know, there's some, some purple. You know, which are the, the usual warning colors, purple, red, green, yellow for insects and fish that are poisonous. Got a good little um, gill design right here. You have some good head fins right here. They're kind of loose, but I'll explain that later on when I show you one of the features. Have some textured bumps right here. The paint job goes from that pearlesque purple and it kind of airbrushes and fades off in a gradient into the plastic. Yeah, it's a crazy looking bugger. So I'm going to show you a few of the features that are accessible in beast mode. One, his Hornet Stinger is also a missile launcher. Let me show you that. So he has protection from the wear. And also, I explained these are kind of loose and I'll show you why press down on this gill component right here the head springs forward in a surprise attack just lock that back in place so he's a well versatile character when it comes to um, offense so let's take a, a look at how he his functions in beast mode oh, I'm sorry robot mode his transformation is quite simple pretty much you fold these legs down, fold it forward, kick out the feet, kick out the feet. You know, you rotate the head around. Sometimes it helps to unhinge it. You can snap the head back in place. You rotate the lower body, and you can see his abs and his chest right there. Uh, kick out the feet, kick out the feet and the back support. 
you fold his shoulders back insect legs you just kind of push him back there and then you bring his arms back out and fold it at the joint and here's the odd part of this character he has this huge head that in a ridiculous way can serve as a robot head but his robot head is actually concealed within a mouth you pull it out this bugger is ugly and then he has articulation in the mouth look at that he retains the stinger in his hand um, in robot mode it can be removed you know both of his hands are cuffed you see there's pegs on both ends of the stinger so you can use that for firing uh, I remember reading his bio when I unboxed him so many years ago that he's um, highly intelligent but very insecure about his appearance because he knows he's ugly so that's that's a pretty interesting dynamic for some storytelling right there his wings aren't quite on his back they're more like on the top of his elbows but I'm sure in any comic book or TV show he can still use them to fly or glide I, I like this character I've, I've seen read other reviews of him because of his big awkward head and his thin legs and his stance you know not too many people care for him but you know I, I tend to usually go for like the oddball and the under underdog type things anyway so really cool character uh, really um, solid design only thing I don't like is how the Hornets um, abdomen panels kind of stays on its hand you can't detach them but you know if you want to improvise you know you can say that they're like shield pieces so I guess there's some defense right there and there you have it Transformers Beast Wars Injector Fusion Lionfish Hornet. This has been another arm figure review. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, um, share your thoughts. You know, on any, any type of um, beast wars you may want to um, recommend. Uh, maybe even get some trades. Peace.